Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. We're joining you live from Arlington, Texas at the massive Cowboys Stadium in some serious Texas heat. Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. Bueller will be kicking off. Holland is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll down it in the end zone. They'll set up shop at the 20. Campbell, hands off. He's dropped down at the 25. Five-yard pickup, second down. And there's the flag, and we're going to have our first penalty. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Wade Phillips, it's safe to say he's rather pleased his team got that call. He lets it go, but pays a price with a monster hit. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. for it all streaks down the sideline oh watch out touchdown Raiders blow the whistle dun, dun. extra point is good Oakland is up seven let's take a look at the drive summary which is presented by Verizon Oakland is just about ready to kick this one away. Jones is back to receive the kick. He's tackled and down at the 14. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. He lets it go. The defender bats it away. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. They'll face second down and 10. And the ball on the 29-yard line. Here's the throw. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. First down and 10. Ball is on the 47. He gets off the throw. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. So they line up at the 32. He's going to pass. Branch gets a hand on it. Bennett was the intended receiver on the play. The pass is away. And he's tackled at the 10. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Looking Enzo! He catches it, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Jason Witten was his intended target.
Short throw to the right. He's wrestled down at the two. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. A big third and goal situation here with the offense looking to get this game tied. Going up top for the end zone. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Oh, come on. You have to be kidding me. You can't miss a field goal that short. Just send one of the defensive tackles in. He could make it from that far. He's going to throw it right through his hands. He almost had the pick. That incompletion will bring up second down. He fights forward to about the 23. A pickup of about three. That brings up third down. Facing third down now and seven. Gets it away. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Looks to throw it, and it's knocked down. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Campbell with the give. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. They'll line up again on third down. He throws downfield. He's brought down at the 50. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength. But did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Campbell hands it off. Personal foul, face mask, defense. I don't care how good your defense may be. You're asking for trouble when you start giving teams free first downs. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. Gus, everybody knows that football is a game of emotion, but unchecked emotion is a bad thing. You have to be able to control yourself on the football field. That's a big mistake. Haywood Bay made the catch for a gain of six. That'll make it second down. Short pass to his left. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle thinking, he stinks, this guy's terrible. Then as soon as he sees his quarterback, he says, don't worry about it, we'll get it next time. Campbell tosses to the left side. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. The Cowboys will begin this drive at the 37. Here's the pass. It's tipped, and he still makes the catch. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man.
We've played a quarter. The score, seven, nothing. He gets off the throw. Pass is tipped and caught. He's dropped down at the 44-yard line. And we've got third down and three here. He passes it. Brings in another one. And he's tackled at the 35. Going for the home run. Austin was the intended receiver. Dumps it short. He's off target on the pass. Incomplete. Tony Romo is one of the most accurate passers in the NFL, so when he slings one out of reach like that, you go, what the heck just happened? Richard Seymour, you can bet, will be coming hard for the quarterback in this situation. Asamoa was there to bring him down. You know, a couple of things that really impressed me about Tony Romo. One is his accuracy, and that's always underrated. But the second thing is his quick release. We went back and timed his release and compared it to some of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played the game. And his release is as fast, if not faster, than any of them. Big play, and the Cowboys will have a first and goal. Here they go, first and goal down by a touchdown. Fires it in the end zone! He has it, but is out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Jason Witten might have been shaken up a bit on the play. The kick is good. And with that, the score is the Cowboys. Three, the Raiders. Seven. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. Short kick. Didn't get much leg into that one. Not a good kick as it sails out of bounds. Here's the call on the field. Boy, he just hooked that one right out of bounds. I, I don't know how you can practice something all day, every day, and hit a kick like that. Campbell will hand it off. That's a two-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Second down and eight here. Campbell gives it up the middle. The Raiders have had very little success running the ball so far, but that time they were able to create a little push and get some decent yardage. Jay Ratliff can plug up the middle single-handedly. He's looking to come up huge in this third and short situation. They'll get the call again. Who's going to come up with this one? Dallas has the football the cowboys win the scramble they take over very good work that time to recover the football for the defense and if you've ever been in the bottom of one of those pileups like that you know that anything goes just gets it away austin was the intended receiver on the play Under heavy pressure, 
gets it off, and he takes a hit. They brought the blitz that time, didn't get there, but did throw off the timing of the play to get the incompletion. Passes it downfield. Rolando McClay was there for the stop. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. It's a pass. The stop was made by Rolando McClain. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, 10 to go. Get ready. Flips it out short. It is an incomplete pass. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Here's a look at today's red zone numbers made possible by Old Spice Body Wash, the greatest smell in the NFL. And he's crushed as he lets it go. Austin was his intended target. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. He splits the uprights. So the score now, the Cowboys, six, the Raiders, seven. Now it's time to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. Short kick. They're going to get good field position out of this. Holland takes it at the 21. He makes it out to the 33-yard line. We have an injured Raider. Doesn't appear to be too serious, though. The Raiders will set up shop at the 33. It's a quarterback sack. That was a very good effort by the Cowboys. It's now second and long following the sack. Following the sack, it's now second and long. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Under heavy pressure. So no luck for the offense on that drive as they'll go three and out. Nice play, but anytime there's a sack, there has to be a number of key things happening, and that time it all came together. The Raiders line up to punt. Creighton is the deep man awaiting the return. Creighton fields it at the 22. He's hit and dropped at the 25. The penalty is declined. And we'll have a first down and 10 at the 25. Just gets it off. And if he can get just a little bit more time, there are guys running open down the field. The pressure is getting close, but it's not there. He should take a fraction longer to make that throw. Passes it short. He's tackled at the 38. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Gets the pass off. And the tackle was made by Johnson. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, 
but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. He lets it go. Can't complete that pass. Tony Romo, it appears as human after all. It's not very often we see him overthrow a receiver like that. Here's the throw. Uh-oh, watch out. He'll just jog into the end zone. Whoa! Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys! The Cowboys use five plays to go about 75 yards before getting it into the end zone for six. How about that burst of speed to take it all away? That was fun to watch. He's going for it all. Bueller will kick it deep. Holland loses the ball. And we have a flag on the play. And this one looks like it's going to come back. The Raiders are called for another penalty. They've made some mistakes here in the first. The Cowboys will start this drive at the 18. The kick is good. The Raiders are called for another penalty. They've made some mistakes here in the first. Bueller will be kicking off. The kick is very short. And that kick causes the penalty flag to come out. Here's the call. Boy, he just hooked that one right out of bounds. I, I don't know how you can practice something all day, every day, and hit a kick like that. He gets off the throw, drops it, and he was pretty well covered. Darius Hayward Bay was the intended receiver. He's going to pass. Terrence Newman with the coverage on the play. They're facing a third and ten. Gets rid of it as he's hit. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. The Cowboys will take a timeout. That is their second of the half. The Raiders are lining up to punt it away. Creighton is back awaiting the punt. He angles it out of bounds at the 30. The Cowboys take the field looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. And he'll just kneel it here. Dallas will get it first here in the second half. He's hit and dropped at the 14. Well, he took a gamble on that one. And as we all know, sometimes you gamble and it pays off. Sometimes you gamble and you're inside the 20. Kitna with the give. He's wrestled down at the 19. The Cowboys' offense has had trouble getting really anything going with the ground game, and that run actually was a pretty decent gain, so maybe they'll get something going now. Daylight gains his way to the 30-yard line. from their own 30-yard line. Kitna hands it off. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Let's go. 
Kitna hands it off straight ahead. Barber runs for a nice gain of six yards. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. They hand it off. He gets to about the 47-yard line. Felix Jones has his... Carry of the game, go for first down yardage. From their own 47-yard line. He gets another carry. He's dropped down at the 37. The Cowboys have shown dominance in the ground game, and they're not letting up one bit. They'll probably look to keep pounding it so they can tire out this defense in the fourth quarter. They give it off here. He's brought down First at the 31. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. Second down and five to go. Inside give. He fights First forward to about the 30. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Jones takes it up the middle. Felix Jones can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. They line up at the 19. Jones takes the give. Personal foul, face mask, defense. And the defense gives up some First free down. yards to the offense. And Gus, I always thought defensive penalties were so much more deflating than offensive penalties. You know, as an offense, you get a chance to make up for it. On defense, though, usually it's big yardage and automatic first downs. And with that, the score is the Cowboys. 18, the Raiders. 7. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the National Football League. Unbelievable. The field is 53 and a half yards wide and he still missed it. Maybe we have to send him to Canada. Inside handoff. He makes his way to about the 32. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Gives it off. He's dropped for a loss. There's an injury on the field. Looks to be a cowboy. And he is in some pain. Second down now. 12 to go. Rolling out to his right. And the pass is knocked away. Third down coming up after that incompletion. The pass is away. He's tackled at the 15. The Raiders are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid, and the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Steps up in the pocket and throws it as he's hit. Michael Bush was the intended receiver on the play. You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Hand off to the left. And he's tackled at the eight. Bush picks up about seven yards on the run. Short throw to the left. Complete. Nice catch. Jacoby Ford makes his first catch of the game after going the entire first half without one.
Handoff up the middle. Touchdown, men in black. The Raiders use eight plays to go half the length of the field. It looks like they will go for two. Looking for a man. Going for the end zone. Makes the catch for two. Great job there. They were able to get it in for two. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. This is a good opportunity to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. The Cowboys come out looking to get another scoring drive going here. They got three last time. Barber gets the ball. And that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Inside give. He's dropped down at the 21. Gives it to the back. This is kind of a surprising call here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. He's wrestled down at the 29-yard line. Barber gets another carry. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Again with the run, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. The Cowboys begin the fourth quarter with the ball, and they're up by a field goal. On the ground, right side. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Jones on the right side. He makes his way to about the 45. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. Let's go. Run right side. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Thomas Howard makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. He'll get it again. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. The signal is a first down. Thomas Howard looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. He just misses it. Jumps it out right. Comes down with it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. They'll gain eight on the play. The give to the tailback. He's wrestled down at the 50. 
You would think they would be looking to conserve time right now. Yeah, somebody may want to go over and whisper in the head coach's ear that, uh, hey, psst, coach, we are still behind here. Bush again. He's brought down at the 47-yard line. Michael Bush might have been injured on that one. Here's a halfback, dropped behind the line. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time, they were all over this offensive line. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's dropped down at the 44-yard line. Not sure if I agree with that call at all. Yeah, the running game at this point works against you on a couple of fronts. One, you're not going to get typically a big play out of it, and that clock keeps on ticking. He's wrestled down at the 28-yard line. Face mask, defense. Coaches get upset enough when you make a physical mistake on the field. But when you make that kind of a mental mistake on third down, coaches go nuts. Handoff up the middle. And he's tackled at the five-yard line. Gashes the defense for a pickup of nine. That brings up second down. He didn't get back to the line. And if you could make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Inside give. Cartwright picked up the first down, gain of four on the play. Passes short right side. When you have a receiver with that kind of ability, just give him a chance to work one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He'll take care of the rest. And he adds the point after. Oakland holds a four-point lead. Less than three minutes to go in the game. Now it's time to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. He's tackled and down at the 15. Has a man to his right. Little flip. Patrick Creighton was his intended target. He's going to throw it. He's brought down at the 47-yard line. Face mask, defense. The penalty is declined. Gets it away. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. We have an injured Raider. Doesn't appear to be too serious, though. It's up, and it's good. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. Holland takes it at the 16. 
He returns to the 26. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Six-yard gain on the run. Second down. Gives it off and hit hard for a loss. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Run play, left side. He lost it. Dallas falls on it and they have the turnover. And the kick is good. That was an excellent kick for the go-ahead score. You know, I know we make a lot of jokes about field goal kickers, but the mental toughness it takes to come into a ball game in this situation and make that kick is really impressive. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. The Raiders will grab the onside kick. Spencer recovers a fumble. Checks down to the short pass. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. So the defense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Goes through his progression. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. Holding offense. And we'll replay third, third down. down. Tough spot for the quarterback now after that penalty because now the possibility of seeing that added pressure is really heightened. Surveys the field. He's got it. This is close. They'll bring out the chain. Yes, he got there. First down. All kinds of pressure. And the ball is free. You have to protect the ball. It's really just as simple as that. You cannot have turnovers and expect to be successful in a game like this. Good coverage downfield. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. 
Chris, that was a very surprising call. You're down in the fourth quarter. You need to keep this drive alive with a first down, and you do that. The Raiders just took their first time out. And the kick is good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Time for the drive summary. We'd like to let everyone know that this is brought to you by Verizon. Jones takes the kick at the 15. He's wrestled down at the 20-yard line. That'll do it from Arlington. Stick around for the post-game show and wrap up after this. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game, presented by Old Spice Deodorant. Smell like a man, man. Here's one for the highlight reel. It's the Doritos Crunch Time Play of the Game. Our final score is Oakland, 25, Dallas, 24. 